Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out MailTech, which is an extremely useful tool to integrate with Gmail. So what MailTech does is it tracks emails that are open or they're clicked through or they're reopened, but it not just only does that, it actually also has a scheduler and a ping machine. So what it does, it's going to re-ping that email that you sent so the user remembers you sent them an email. Well, it kind of, it sounds like kind of weird, but I'm gonna open it right now and I'm gonna show you what it's capable of. So this is one of my Gmail boxes that I have and what I'm gonna show you what it's capable of. So the first thing that you have to do is gonna have to install mail tag in your Chrome extension. So you can see right here, I have mail tag installed. So it's gonna work now. And you can see this blue icon here, that means it's installed also. So once you're ready to go, you're gonna click on make a new email. And on the bottom of this new email, you can see this little blue icon that's a little letter opened. That means it's active. By default, it's gonna be activated. And the cool part about this is that when you send an email, it's not gonna show the recipient that it's actually gonna be tracked. So that's pretty cool. And you can disable it if you want. I just click on it and it turns great. But like I said, it's on by default. We also have the scheduler right here and we have the ping email. What ping email does is what it does when you send an email and the person doesn't open it, you can set to resend a new email in three days, one day, 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, and it's gonna auto send a new one. I'm gonna show, how, I'm gonna show you how cool that is in a bit. So what happens when you track an email? Right now, I already done some tests right here with this email box so you can see it. So you can see I sent this here and it says mail tag and it's telling me that it was opened. You can see right here. It was sent on this date at this time and it was open on this date and on this time. Here's the recipient location and you can see it was read email 36 minutes after it was sent. So it tells you if it was open or not. That's pretty cool, right? Now if they click on a link inside that email, you're actually going to know also. It's going to alert you. But let's just do a test right now to show you how effective this is. I'm going to send an email and I'll just write whatever. Just write whatever and it's activated by default i'm gonna send it and i'll open it here on my phone just wait for it to get it all right once i get it i'll just open it obviously it takes a bit because i have the option to cancel it here on gmail all right so there i received the email i'm gonna click on it all right, so it's opened and I'm going to refresh over here. Oh, well, there it is. There you go. It just told me that I received, I opened the email. So you can see it says he opened 20 seconds after it was sent. Now that's really, really useful when you're sending emails to proposals or just clients that said, hey, you know what? I didn't receive it. And you know, they're lying. I mean, you can keep like keep on the game or you can tell them, hey, you know what? I know you received it because it tells me you opened it in such time and date or whatever. So that's pretty cool, right? Next thing we have is the scheduler. So here in schedule, you can schedule to a, a different time zone if you want. So for example, I don't have to wake up early. I don't have to wake up in the evening to send this or whatever. I just set the date, the time, a.m., p.m. And from what time zone do I want it to grab this from? So I can search from for example, Los Angeles, right? I wanted to do that. And it's gonna tell me when it's gonna send. So in one hour, and if I change this to that, and it tells me again, it's gonna be sent in nine hours tomorrow afternoon. I can change the date and it's gonna auto switch. Now, when you send this, it's gonna stay in the draft folder until it's sent. So MailTag takes care of this to send it at the right time. And if you wanna change it to the local time zone of the person that you sent it for, let's just say it's New York, New York. All right. So it's going to send at 8.53 p.m. of New York time. So you don't have to be guessing at what time you have to send it. Now, like I said, it's going to be in the draft folder. So if you want to delete it, if you want to cancel it or you want to reschedule, just head on over to the draft folder and you can check that out and change it. But you can also do it from the MailTag dashboard that we'll get through in a bit. Next thing we have is the ping email. So in ping email, there are follow up sequences. By default, MailTag gives you three sequences that you can edit or just go for, from there or build your own. Now, I'm not gonna edit them here. I'm gonna head on over to the dashboard and I'm gonna do it over there. MailTag gives you really cool analytics that you can have here in one single dashboard. Let me refresh it. So you can see email sent today, this month, average open rate, average link, click rate. You got recently opened emails, you got unread emails, 
you got scheduled emails, scheduled pings, and you got all that information in one single dashboard really quick and really fast. You also have another inbox here. So you don't have to be searching around on the email and Gmail to see if they read it or not. I can head on over right to the unread and I know who has an unread it in one single place. So that's really awesome. Next thing we have is a scheduled emails. And this is the one I have scheduled. You can see right here, cancel scheduled email if I want, change delivery date, delivery time, sorry, and send email now. So just say you want to change your mind and I want to send it now. That's possible. And the coolest tool of all is ping emails. So there's sequence emails and we can edit them right here, ping sequence. So like I said, they give you three sequences so you get an idea of what you can do with them. And I'm just going to edit this one to tell you what it's capable of. This has happened numerous times for me that I've sent an email of a proposal and the person just didn't open it. It didn't mean they weren't interested. They just didn't, didn't open it. And I've last time I did this, I resent an email manually like 30 days after and the person was interested. And I'm like, whoa, why didn't I email them before? But I didn't know they opened the email. I didn't know anything about what was happening. Now, if I had this email sequence, that would have not happened. Now, right here, what it's telling me is that ping number one, it's going to be sent one day after, after the original email was sent. And this is what it's saying. Just wanted to follow up and make sure you got my previous email and just blah, blah, blah. Right. You can change whatever you want right here. Just say, hey, did you check out my last email? Maybe you're interested or not. Blah, blah, blah. You can change the time right here. So let's just say, you know what? I want to send it two days after. I don't in my case, I don't want to be too like there. I would say I would send it like eight days or 15 days as a follow up. You can preview it here. You have all these options to edit and it's going to do another sequence on day fourth, day four. And you can change also the, the day right here. So it's going to see on day six of that email and it just keeps doing the follow up sequence. Now, this is going to take the email all the way to the top again. So if they didn't read it, it's going to take it to the top and say, oh, now I'm going to open it because I saw it. Right. So that's what it's for. You could do some other cool stuff with this, but it just depends on you. You also have some settings here that I found interesting. So, for example, here in settings, you can set the time zone. Obviously, this is my local time zone. You can change it if you want. And you don't want it to send a ping sequence on these dates. So, for example, you can set it to not send on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe Monday, Tuesday or whatever. Maybe you don't open on Wednesday. You want to set that so you don't get an email on that date or you don't want to ping that person on that date. You also have only ping sequence between these times. So it's going to send it between these times. And you could also set it to not be sent on holidays. I've set it to active. Why? Because I don't want people to think that I have nothing to do on holidays or I just don't want to bother people on holidays. That could be really, really like bad for, for some people, right? It's like, come on, it's a holiday. Don't, don't email me, right? So you can set that to not ping. Even if the date is sent, for example, if it's going to send on day six, but it turns out to be a Saturday or Sunday, it's just going to bring, jump one day. So that's really cool. And if it's a holiday, it's going to jump it also. So it's a really awesome tool to have. I think it's really fantastic you have this. Um, on downsides I found on MailTag is that it's not available on phones yet. So if you send an email from the phone, it's not going to track it. But if you start sending it from the desktop, it's going to keep tracking all the emails. They say they will be coming up with an Android app that's going to work with Android in the end of 2020. That's just speculation, but they are thinking about it. And for the Apple cases for iPhone, they say it's like it's not possible. They won't let you. Right. So it's a problem from Apple. You got to thank Apple for that because they're not going to let you do that. So let's wait for the for the email app to to roll out. That's going to be really cool. But for now, it's available on the desktop and you can use it on the Chrome extension. All right, guys, that is mail tag. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description for a deal that's going on. So take advantage of it. The link is a uh, affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more, but it helps me out to grab deals and make videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.